Developing now, the cold is creating challenges for firefighters. The water from their trucks combined with the frigid temperatures turned much of a street into a sheet of ice at a fire in DeKalb County. And Channel 2 is Audrey Washington is live on the scene where she spoke with the people who escaped the flames. Audrey. Right, and as they ran from the home here, they told me they slipped on ice like this right here on the driveway. Now, I just want to show you what's left of this home here in DeKalb County. This is a live look. You can see the, the windows there are boarded up and the house mostly charred and gutted. 90 minutes ago, I spoke with one resident who told me he saw flames pouring out of the back of the home. The resident actually walked me through the damage, showing me where the laundry room used to be. The flames broke out shortly after, after 3 Tuesday morning. This was the scene when we first arrived here on, um, on Vila Lane. You can see the smoke pouring from the home. I snapped this picture while on the scene. The water uh, icing over in the middle of the street. Water was pouring from the fire trucks, which made fighting the fire both difficult and dangerous. Here's what the fire captain had to say about the conditions, plus what one of the fire victims told me about the moment his uncle first spotted the flames. He smelled smoke. So he opened the back door and flames just burst in. And he just ran and woke everyone up. It's like the house on fire, everybody get out. When you have water conditions that turn into ice overnight due to the temperatures, it certainly poses that risk of falling to our firefighters. Firefighters told me they always put a certain mixture down on the ground to help deal with the icy conditions. I'm putting together that part of the story. Plus, why fire victims think faulty wiring actually started this fire here inside this home in DeKalb County. I'm working to put all that together for you, beginning all new at 4 on Channel 2 Action News. Right now, though, we are live here in DeKalb County. Audrey Washington, Channel 2 Action News.